Whoa. What is that? Most of you have seen that. Anyway, show you what that is. Uh, this is Russ, rwgresearch.com, open-source-energy.org. Fan's still there. Um, okay, so a quick update. This is what I wanted to tell you, inform you, show you. I went ahead and calculated what I needed to wrap my choke conductors on here. And here it is. Uh, I went ahead and installed all of the um, metal pieces here, the, uh, the core, the laminate core. Went ahead and put it together and installed it because I took measurements on the inductors. So I did it on the air core and not. All of that information is over at the forums. Um, so go over there and you can download the uh, Excel spreadsheet that I have of the measurements. Um, the resistance is right at what we want and um, that's 11.6k is what we're looking for and um, I did read in, in Stan's patents in Stan's patents that um, any anything above that like basically it stated that that was enough um, which is uh, kind of interesting basically he's looking for a certain property so just to show you real quick interestingly enough I measured 11.8k uh, and the longer that this sits out in the cold the more and more it's dropping so right now it's 11.69k but when this thing was all warmed up it was at 11.8k so just the heat the temperature difference between you know 15 about 10 to 15 degrees a temperature differential has actually changed the values of the induct or the resistance by a matter of a hundred ohms 200 ohms well uh, yeah 100 ohms right now so that in itself was very interesting that I just found out right now but what I wanted to show you is how I did that and um, uh, right now I'm just going to use these type of electrical connections just for the moment and I can always uh, do that a little bit differently later but that's what I've got right now so I'm going to just kind of explain to you how I um, how I wrapped it but I just got the ends on there and uh, you can see that's what she looks like um, it worked out really well what I did is um, for, for most of you who's never seen this before this is my wire uh, counter straightener device and basically I built this originally to straighten all the magnet wire that I recycled so this is my it's actually called a magnet wire straighter counter cleaner device I have no name for it um, and I have a counter on here and this counter is actually out of an old tape deck alright and I actually just calculate how many what I did is I calculated that this was 16.4 ohms per foot at the temperature I had it at which is really interesting to see that it changed that much so it was a 16.4 ohms per foot so I calculated out how much 10 feet was pulling through here it was about 24 counts and um, I did that multiple times to get, make sure I was accurate and I exchanged that number to get around 1722 would give me right at so 1722 on here 1722 on this dial is going to give me right at the amount of resistance that I was looking for um, so what I did is a uh, guy at work gave me this fishing spool so what I did is I took, uh, took the original spool here ran it out um, all of it to get exactly 1,722 onto this spool and I took this spool and uh, I divided 1,722 by 14 that gave me 123 so then I put both of these spools back on here ran them together and counted every 123 counts was one slot and so I did, you know, 123, 123, and I continued doing that until I got all the way in. These are wrapped from one side, actually it's this side first. From this side, this way. You wrap a whole section, and then you go to the next section, cavity, and then the next cavity. That's the way these are supposed to be wrapped, by filer. And what's interesting is that when I got done wrapping this at exactly my counts, I had exactly about six inches here. I have the exact same amount of wire on each one of these 
came out to be about six inches left over. That was just enough to make my connection. So I was uh, impressed, to say the least, that that worked that well. And the counts came out exactly on the money. So very cool. I did not actually count how many turns. I just actually counted, um, you know, the number of counts on here. So there you go. All the data sheet is over at the forums. So I'll put that link in the description. It's the same one I've been linking the whole time, so you all already have it. And a um, guy by the name of Porter Mike, that's what his YouTube name is, he um, wanted to know what kind of camera I have. I'm using a Panasonic HDC-TM90. And just for fun, what I want to do is show you this steady shot. I don't know what the amount of... Let's see what the amount I got on here. Alright, I got 40 right now. Let's see... Oh, I'm jumping around because I'm touching my screen. I'm going to change this back up to the highest focus point. I wanted to show you guys the steady. Yeah, I'll just leave it at 40. That's 40, okay? That's with the steady shot on. Now I'm going to turn the steady shot off. Alright. I'm one-handing this camera. That's one hand with the steady off. Alright, I'll hold the camera with two hands with the steady off. Alright, now I'm going to turn the steady back on. Alright, that's one hand with the steady on. One hand with the steady on. Check that out. I don't think I can change the, the menu while I'm running. <clears throat> um, but, uh, yeah. There you go. I just wanted to kind of show Mike that. So that's 40 times. 40x. I think I can go up to like 70. And this has a, uh, it says optical zoom focus is 2.82 to 59.2 millimeter. It's a 1 to 1 1.8, and it says the little zero with the slash in it, uh, 41.5 millimeter. And the reason I wanted this camera, um, I actually had a Sony there for a little bit, you guys know, and the reason I wanted this camera because it has a really wide angle, and I can hold this camera right there. I'm actually, I mean, you know, a hand's length away from my face, and it's all in there. That other camera wasn't that great. So, I had to thank Rod for, uh, he actually donated this camera. Uh, we returned, he bought the other one and we returned it because it wasn't HD. And I went back and uh, found this one online for real cheap. Um, I don't remember the price, but it was a lot cheaper um, online. We found it somewhere online. It was like $200 more if you went to like Best Buy. It's crazy. All right, that's it. Russ with RWGresearch.com. That steady cam thing makes one heck of a difference. Um, let's see, let's, let's focus out on this junk over here just for fun. Alright. So, let's see if we can see those coils. You can almost see those part numbers over there on top of that resistor. And that's all the way, all the way across my garage here. So just for fun, let's turn steady back off. That's just one, I'm so impressed. I'm one-handing the camera right now. Alright, I'm going to turn the steady back off. I mean, my hand isn't shaking. It's just that bad. What's well, one-handed? Let me try to let me try to sit ready to rest it against my arm. There, I'm actually resting against my arm. All right, now I'm gonna turn steady back on. One hand. I'm a little bit more jumpy right now, but so if I if I do two hands, man, it's it's awesome. That's one thing I was very impressed. So, all right, Russ, RWResearch.com. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm really hoping to do some more EPG. That's really what I wanted to work on this last live show. I will be doing another live show Sunday night, but I might um, not be able to do the show because of this, some severe thunderstorms. I'm going to try, but if I don't show up, that's probably the main reason why I don't show up. I also have to do a weird work shift during the day on Sunday and then go back on work. Uh, I'll be here all Monday night through... It's going to be crazy. Just watch the timers on the uh, the website there for the live show. The timers should be accurate for what time I should be going live. And then if all else fails because of these storms, I'll be in the chat room and let you guys know. Um, so, yeah, that's really what I wanted to, um, to do on the last live show is EPG. I know you guys are really, uh, you know, waiting for some results. And believe me, I... Um, I'm doing a lot of this other stuff while I have time to do the other stuff. I'm, I'm still doing some research 
on exactly the ionization process. I talked to a couple people yesterday, Victor and Peter, great guys. Um, really enjoyed that conversation. And uh, there's a few other people that I need to call that Chris gave me numbers. I'm going to get a hold of those people and try to get a little bit more information to exactly how I want to do that. But uh, I still need uh, to find some sort of a TIG welding equipment um, that I can either borrow or something like this and uh, try it that way. So that's it. Peace and love to you all. Thank you guys for watching. Support and, um, you know, do, do what you can. Do the research for yourself. Uh, come over to the forums, post some information, think about it, look at what's going on, and just get involved. I mean, you don't have to have money to try to be involved in this research. You can just use this thing. All right. See you guys later. Have a good day.